Hey, what's up? I'm Nate. Welcome to Dow Skateboarding. Today I have five of the ultimate lifestyle hacks that are guaranteed to get you skating through life. Please right out the gate, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get that YouTube algorithm working and get our channel growing. I would really, really appreciate you. So let's just dive right into it with number one. Find a daily workout routine. You know, it's not enough to just skate every day. It's important that you're setting some other fitness goals for yourself, like strength conditioning, like cardio conditioning. These do a few things for you. The strength conditioning is gonna help mitigate damage upon impact. Skateboarding is a very high impact sport and it's important that, you know, you're building strength to resist injury. The cardio conditioning is important because skateboarding is very cardio focused. And so by having a daily cardio routine, whether that's running, whether that's doing a treadmill, whatever it may be, it's just gonna prolong the amount of time that you're actually able to skate during a session. Thirdly, you know, in Colorado today, it's snowing. And on days like this, it's difficult to go skate. So it's nice to be able to have a high intensity workout to supplement the days that I can't go skateboard or that you can't go skateboard, right? So find a daily workout routine. It's just gonna improve the quality of your skateboarding and your life all around. Number two is to get into a daily stretching or yoga routine. Honestly, this could have been number one in terms of like a top five list because stretching daily is guaranteed to improve the quality of your overall lifestyle and is guaranteed to increase the longevity of your athletic lifestyle as a skateboarder. You know, skateboarding is so taxing on your joints, on your muscles, on your bones, on your entire body. And I've found that by having a daily stretching practice, integrated into my lifestyle. It has dramatically, dramatically improved the quality of my life. It's dramatically improved the quality of my athletic lifestyle. And it's just a lot, it just allows me to skate six or seven days a week on average without feeling sore or like I need to take three days off at a time. So definitely, definitely, definitely find a daily stretching or yoga practice for yourself and immediately start integrating this into your skateboarding lifestyle. You know, it's funny, this isn't actually how I meditate, but for the purposes of this video, please get into a daily meditation practice. Personally, I like to just lay on a couch and listen to some calm music, some like down tempo electronic music. It's kind of my go-to thing. Um, there's a lot of different ways to meditate. There's a lot of good resources on YouTube for doing it. Um, and whatever makes most sense to you and your personality, I strongly recommend getting into a daily meditation routine, even if it's just 20 or 30 minutes, you know? I found meditation to be one of the most potent ways to even my temperament, and it just translates to everything else I do in the rest of my life. Um, skateboarding in and of itself is a very meditative activity, right? And normally I lean on skateboarding as a means to dial in that meditative state but there's also a lot of days where you know i'm trying to Im improve i'm trying to land a trick it's taking me like three hours and it's exhausting it becomes frustrating it becomes anti-meditative but i found in those moments because of a daily practice of meditating on my own that in those moments where i get really frustrated i'm hot i'm sweaty i'm over it i'm able to like maintain an e a much more even temperament and i just get way less frustrated, I stay way more focused, and so I just think that by having a daily meditative routine of some sort, um, it's just going to translate to the rest of your life in the most potent way. So, number three, daily meditation. Mm. Excuse me. Number four, eat healthy. This cannot be overstated enough. And it's sort of a broad, loaded statement. I, I guess I should preface by saying, you know, I'm not an expert, I'm not a scientist. There's a lot of good information on the internet about this. There's a lot of bad information on the internet about this and I kind of want to tread lightly here. But what I have found to be really effective for me are the following things. When I go to the grocery store, my rule of thumb is that I stick to the produce aisle. I buy huge bags of lettuce, carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, sunflower seeds, some Parmesan cheese, olive oil, and I make a ton of salads throughout the week. I probably have at least one or two salads every day as part of my routine. I found that this is one of the easiest meals to make. It takes like five minutes. Um, you know, once I just have all the bags of vegetables and everything 
everything ready to go in the fridge. It just, it literally takes like five minutes to make. And for me, it's sort of a means of meal prepping um, that doesn't require a lot of effort. I'm very busy, I'm on the go a lot. I'm very active and I want, as soon as I'm done working out, like I want to eat immediately. I don't want to have to think about cooking for an hour. I don't want to have to think about going and finding a meal somewhere. I want like the quickest, easiest thing that's going to make, that's going to fill me up and make me feel good at the same time. So I found that salads are number one, number one in my diet. Number two is fruit. I have a lot of fruit around the house. I can pack a fruit with me anywhere. I can pack a salad with me anywhere. And generally my day starts out with a fruit, a piece of string cheese, some sort of protein and a fiber bar. Usually once a day I have one big hearty meal that I, that I either cook and put a lot of effort into um, or you know I get somewhere. And if I go out somewhere and I order it, I try to make sure that I'm getting healthy foods. I try not to go to drive through fast food places and that um, I, I do minimize the amount of eating out that I do. But if I do do it, that it's it's generally healthy and these things taste good. They're not, I don't have to put any thought into like, oh, I need to eat healthy today. It's just like, I just love the flavor of a salad with some chicken, some garlic salt, man. Like it is delicious. And um, that's the key in my opinion is finding healthy foods that are simultaneously delicious because healthy food tastes good. So again, one day we're gonna get an expert on the channel to deep dive into this and do more videos around eating well because I know it's a, it's a complex, topic, there's a lot of different approaches to it, and it's, a, it's an issue that a lot of people struggle with, um, but it's one of those things that I think is so fundamental to living a healthy life in general, and is one of those things that when you dial it in, you don't really have to think about it, and it's just going to dramatically improve the quality of your life, and it's just going to make your skateboarding life so much better. So number five is a little bit more abstract and it's more just of a, of a mentality and a way of being and that's to show up every day and be the type of person that shows up for their goals every day. You know, whether it's working out, stretching, doing yoga, meditating, eating well, these are just four examples of things that are going to support your skateboard journey but it's important to, you know, to do what makes most sense for you and to just have a balanced life and consider finding more and more ways to integrate other things into your lifestyle that may support your skateboard journey. And you know, I'm trying not to sound like a hippie cult leader, but everything is, is very much interdependent and I very much believe that what you do in one aspect of your life, you're gonna do in all aspects of your life. And that the future of skateboarding is gonna have a heavy emphasis on athleticism and balanced athleticism. And so, in my opinion, the, the people that are gonna become the best in the world as, as the generations progress and as time goes on are gonna be those that are making it an active point to, to have a healthy life all around, to have a balanced life all around, to have other interests to support skateboarding and to have things to do and to keep up with those athletic goals on days when it may be snowing or raining or you're injured and you just can't skate for that day. Um, and it most importantly it's just going to make you feel good you know it's going to make you it's going to make you feel good physically it's going to make you feel good mentally and emotionally and you're just going to feel so much more motivated to get after your skate goals um, when you do do them and when you are out skateboarding and everything that you do uh, again in one aspect of your life supports all the other aspects of your life so just keep that in mind uh, as you go off into the world and as you you go away from this video, that's, that's ultimately what I, what I hope you take away from this. Um, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to stay updated with all new Dow Skateboarding videos. Again, I really wanna dive deeper into these individual topics over the coming weeks and months. Um, but for now, I hope that this was helpful. I hope you, you took a few things away and have you know, maybe uh, some new challenges to set for yourselves and some new things to think about as, you know, you reflect on your own lifestyle as it pertains to your skateboarding goals. So again, that's all we got for today, guys. Have a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next episode.